Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, just got back from the markets, Caboolture Markets. Yeah, um, getting a bit too hot to go there, 32 degrees, and lots of people, which was, yeah, crap. Uh, lots of people, very busy. Lots of vendors, which is good. So, I got a bit of gear, a bit of eclectic bunch I was going to get a king deck wrench 4 inch but I had a look at them and they weren't real good so I'm not going to worry about it I might get one off eBay but they're a lot more expensive and I've got my 6 inch and I've got my big one I think I might just do it with the two of them as far as twisters go um, twisting wrenches go, um, I don't really need a four inch, and, yeah, so the problem is you buy one off eBay, and they say they're in good condition, and you get them, and they're not, so, yeah, it's a bit of a thing, the problem is I buy them from England, they're $35 in shipping alone, and then $30 to buy the wrench, it's a $70 purchase, where I can buy them here in Australia for 20 bucks. Um, not real interested. Anyway, I got this Aussie hardwood handle for the axe. Um, the young fella was not happy with the handle. He has on the big four and a half pound handle, uh, axe head. Apparently it wasn't hung right, it got loose, so I'm going to put it on this one, take the head off the handle that it's currently on, put that on the small handle, the small axe, and hopefully everything will be right. This is a good handle, um, I got the grain going in the right orientation, 20 bucks for a hardwood Aussie handle, um, should be good, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the one that's on the axe already was fine, it was all good, it's just the young fella's a real, he's flogging it badly, he's not using proper technique, that's why it got loose, keeps driving it into the ground, um, I'm going to take the head off, clean it up, put it on this. If it doesn't work again, he's going to stop using them because I'm sick of handling them. It's the second handle I'm putting on it. If it if it loosens up again, well, he's just going to have to stop using the axes because it's just, it's just bullshit him wasting money on handles having to re-handle axes all the time because they're just getting loose. And I'm not going to have to be driving wedges in them all the time to get them, because I've, I've put a hand, handle on them there as tight as anything, and then within a couple of hours of him using them, they're loose again. So I don't know what he's doing it to them to make them go loose. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh found this, five bucks, <laughs> diamond brand, as far as I know this is a, an American brand, um, cordless drill, it's a ratchet drill, so, Anyway, it was ratcheting there. I'll have to work out what's going on. I, I, I hope I didn't break it then. For five bucks.
I just have to overcome the ratchet again. There we go. There we go. Just have to work it out how to work it. Anyway, five bucks. Can't believe it. It's in such good nick. Um, everything's working. So I bought that. Ten bucks for a full set of number stamps. I wanted it for the O. So I'm going to replace my O stamp. I'll weld a handle on it. I had to get them. Um, not really sure about these. Um, it was five bucks. They're not in real good nick. Some of them are, some of them are. It's a good concept. It's a, just an adjustable multi tool. See so it? Just put in, put all the tools in, got all the, some of them are uh, in good nick. The giblet is in good nick for starting holes. That's all working, but the screwdrivers are the alls in good nick. So that's all good. The Phillips head, that one's in good nick, but that one's been flogged, flogged out, stripped completely. That one's been stripped out almost completely, the flathead. Oh, that one's on the way out. So, yeah, um, not too bad. Five bucks. Not a bad little set. And you get a little pair of pliers, adjustable pliers as well. So yeah, um, quite a unique set. I hadn't seen this type of set before, but um, I've seen similar types of sets. Five bucks, why not? Young fella walking around in the um, car park, found a bit of quartz, like I need more quartz. But anyway, yeah. $2.50 for a little poly, uh, for a kit I've got in mind. Five bucks for a cast iron. I'm going to season it oil it all up and season it, it's for out here, um, this is starting to wear out, I probably will make another one, I was thinking about using this as a, as it, but I'm thinking this will be I'm going to get rid of that. Make another one of these. Have that rather than this bowl out here. But I'll season it first. And use it out here. Then I've got my files. F dick. Made in Germany, nice thick one. That was one of the thicker ones. It's a really good one. It's a nice engineer's file, beautiful. Like it. Had never seen one of these before. It's a Heller, made in the USA. Number three engineer's file. It's got a little bull on it. It's a safety file. I don't know why, but I am worn out. This heat's just sucking it out of me. It's sparking like a champ. Hella. 
It's a beautiful little engineer's file. Might make that one into a striker. Another F deck. I bought him out of F deck, so I don't think he's got any more. It's a safety file. Mate, that's sparking like a champ. Made in Germany, F deck. A unicorn here in Australia, Nicholson, made in the USA, black diamond, USA file, don't see many of them around here in Australia. No. Don't see them very often here in Australia, I'll keep the handle and we'll use them. Um, yeah, Nicholson, USA, made in Australia, uh, made in USA, Black Diamond, USA file. It's only a thin one. I don't see them very often, so I bought it. It's a bit of a unicorn here. They're pretty rare, very rare. You don't get many USA files here in Australia. I found a couple of those, um, Nicholson USA files from this bloke. This was from a completely different vendor. When I saw the Nicholson USA file, I, I jumped on it. It was like, I think it was two dollars. I nearly fell over when he said that. I couldn't get my money out quick enough. Um, yeah, good day, but yeah, as I said, hot and busy. Very, very happy with this. The old cordless drill. Again, going into a kit I am building, I am still building it. Um, it has gone out of control. Um, it is the most extensive kit I have made so far. But that's how I roll. Um, I just keep adding to it. I think I'm going to have to buy another bag. I've already got two bags for it. I think I'm going to have to start a third one. It's going to have three bags for it. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Um, yeah. I've got a bit of stuff. Yeah. But, I, yeah, bitterly disappointed in that King Deck. Um, he had two there last time. I think he sold one. And there was only one left. He had a couple of six-inch ones. I've already got a six inch, I don't need another one. So yeah, I um, I don't think I'll buy them. I think I'll just go with what I've got. I don't do a lot of twisting and the six inch is quite happy to go down to, even when I'm doing six mil or even less, the thin stuff. The thin stuff, you just grab a hold of it with a pair of pliers and just twist it around. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with that, not worry about the four inch one, and yeah, it's just another 40 bucks I don't need to spend, so yeah, I think I might make that one into a small striker, I don't know yet, I, was, I wanted to get away from making strikers for a while, but um, yeah, we are going over on Thursday, 21 degrees max, um, the forecast is. It's going to be beautiful. So Andrew said, come over. So yeah, we'll, we'll be going over on Thursday. So I'll, I've got projects I want to do. But I probably will knock up a couple of um, just small single core colonials from some FD files just to, um I can knock a couple of them up anyway just and still get a few blacksmith stuff done um hooks for my missus and for my mum um my young fella now that he's working full time he never gets to come so um he wants me to do some stuff for him as well 
so I'll do some stuff for him as well. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that as well. But anyway, that's what I got at the market. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, yeah, not not a bad effort actually. Yeah, this handle bloke is good. He's um he's got a fair bit of good stuff there as far as the tools go, but um yeah some of it's i don't know just uh, i'm at that point now where i've got most of the tools so yeah um i don't really need a lot of the stuff that he sells which is a shame but anyway that's the way it goes but um handles on my i think i'm going to i'm going to forego buying any handles from anywhere else now i'll just go to him as far as my handles go i'll um I'll just go through him because, um, yeah, his handles are really good. So, yeah. But um, I've been watching another bloke, uh, an Irish fella, and I've got a few tips off him. And that's why I orientated the, the grain the right way with this because apparently you're supposed to orientate the, the growth rings the same way as the axe or hammer. So it gives, makes the handle stronger, which I did with this. So, yeah. But anyway, that's um that's a little tip I got from him. Anyway, yeah, that's what I got there. Yeah, not a bad bad haul. Can't wait to put my new O on on a handle and um go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.